at 2,000 out of it. About 11, I'll take it out. 12, let's go. 12, 13, 14. Built over generations. Fresh cow my 2,000 out of it. About to go to where? Dismantled. In minutes. At 1400 buyer. The end has come yep. for a small family dairy farm. So I've covered this story before, but this time it's personal. This time it's the family farm on which I grew up. The century old barn in which my grandfather milked cows. And after that, my milk promoting father with his painted up pickup. And that guy? Always in a hurry, in the same barn. <laughs> That's my younger brother. Yeah. Jay. That's my third day down here helping Jay. A week before the auction, I stopped by. I'll tell you what, it caught me by surprise. And found Dennis Kuzli, Jay's neighbor, helping ready a tractor for the sale. I thought Jay'd be farming for 10 more years. He was so good at it, and he always seemed to love it. Jay did. Don't watch the brand new one. Lisa, too, Jay's wife who's about to get a barn kiss. Both grew up on dairy farms. That's them, on the cover of Farm Journal magazine, high school sweethearts, who went on to have the highest producing dairy herd in Pierce County seven years in a row, never expecting in their early 50s to be standing here. Yeah. And saying I, uh, this. I don't want to stay anymore. It's been roughly three years since milk prices tanked. This is the last pickup, yeah. Accelerating a trend that scattered the countryside with empty barns. I've got a, a neighbor down the road three miles this way that sold his cows last Friday. A guy down the road a couple miles that way is selling his cows next week. The prices are poor, it's just break even. Why, why keep milking them? Combined, Wisconsin and Minnesota are losing dairy farms at the rate of 15 a week. Most of them small dairies, like Jay and Lisa's 60 cow herd. Hi, Lucy. Yeah, you're a good girl. Replaced by dairies with thousands of cows, milked increasingly by robots. Did you already wash Edith? Yeah, I did. Jay and Lisa can't match a 5,000 cow herd in scale and efficiency. That's Roxy. She's the barn cat. And robots can't form relationships. This is Sasha. Like this. There you go. You go get that cow some hay that's not eating. Yeah, I noticed that too. Outside, Jay's tractors are lined up for the sale. The newest among them is 27 years old. New tractors have tripled in price, while milk prices have slid back three decades. So on, Jay soldiered with the old. He has always said to me since the day we were married that he would never ever let us go so far in the hole or get so far behind that we couldn't get out. That's where we're at, you know. We don't want to do that. Are you going to be going bye bye? Hmm? Hard to encourage a fourth generation to farm. Hard to keep working 15 hour days and seven day weeks. Come on, baby. When returns are so thin. The hardest thing I think it was that he said to me was he was afraid he was letting me down. They was qu quitting. And um, I don't feel that way at all. I, you know, and I want him to feel good and be happy. So from our grandpa to our father to Jay and Lisa. Thanks for fun. And done. A third generation dairy farm, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Mama, come here, Mama. Easy girl. It's an era that's on the way out, unfortunately. The small family farm. So. Eras don't end without consequences. I mean, we've been together doing this farming thing for 30 years. Yet Lisa and Jay are luckier than some. They'll get out with their home and still own the land our grandfather purchased in the 1930s. A crop farmer has rented it, yeah. and Jay has taken the job at a factory. It was fun, it was a great life, but mm, I think there's better things out there. The herd built over three generations of our family will be scattered among other dairies whose owners are still hoping for a turnaround. A sign of the times, Walmart versus the five and dime, and another empty barn left behind. Oh yeah.
no reason to stay. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, River Falls, Wisconsin.